What's going on YouTube, Jason right here. In today's video we have information about the A12 jailbreak for the iOS 12.4, 12.1.3, 12.1.4 and 12.2. Now the first thing I would like to discuss is what Pond posted just a few hours ago. He said, quote, the A12 soon to be packless Cydia support and system-wide code substitution. And he posted a picture of Cydia running on an A12 device. He also posted this, quote, the PAC less implementation has been rewritten from scratch and the stability and performance issues have been fixed. It is also safe to say now that the implementation is significantly more stable than it was with a PAC bypass. So you probably know that he's been working for quite a long time on creating an uncovered jailbreak for the A12 devices, but as you probably know, compared to the other devices, the A12 ones, the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR, have another security feature called PAC or Pointer Authentication Code and has to be defeated for a jailbreak to work. Now, Pond could go with a PAC bypass, which could be done in theory, at least for the iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4 and 12.2, not sure for the 12.4 for the moment, but he decided to go with a packless implementation, which basically means completely avoiding having to do with pack bypasses and so on, which is actually much, much better in terms of performance and reliability of the jailbreak. And that's exactly what he did. And he successfully made his method in here and it's now almost complete. That's what actually keeps the jailbreak from being released. We need to ensure the PAC can be bypassed or at least, you know, worked around because otherwise we cannot load the tweaks. So that's what he did. And he also posted this, quote, I'm technically done with all the A12 work at this point. You can update your device to iOS 13 if you can't stand waiting for a few days or just stay if you're interested in a really good jailbreak experience. So from this tweeting here, you can see that he's basically looking at just a couple more days before we're going to see a jailbreak release for the A12 devices by Uncover. So yeah, just a couple more days before you can install tweaks and have Cydia on your A12 device. So do not update the iOS 12.1.4 or to iOS 13 if you want to jailbreak your device. Now, what about the other jailbreak available, the Chimera jailbreak, as you probably know it. It was the first jailbreak to have A12 support for iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2, but what happened with 12.2, 12.4, and so on? Well, after being silent for a couple of months and hinting to the fact that he is indeed working and achieving stuff, apparently Coolstar made it very clear today on his server on Discord that he is not planning to release anything. A conversation has been leaked from his server and it's basically this one in here not sure who leaked it and who posted it i got a picture and i wanted to show it to you in here star player 132 is basically cool star and as you can see in here he says quote i only released 12.0 to 12.1.2 since some friends convinced me that it'd be worth to just prove a12 can be jailbroken but not releasing anything for ios 12.1.3 or newer publicly i'm making an a12 jailbreak for ios 12.4 but i'm keeping it private most you'll see is a demo when it's ready no no public release. Besides, a PAC bypass for A12 can go for hundreds of thousands. So the Chimera jailbreak will not be released for the iOS 12.4, 12.1.3, 12.1.4 or 12.2 because apparently he doesn't want to. He will work on it, he will have it ready, but he's not going to release it publicly. He's just going to release a demo, which is of course completely useless because nobody wants to see a demo. There is, however, a misconception in the community and that is that Coolstar got an A12 device from donations from people to work on a jailbreak and he didn't. Well, that is, as I said, a misconception. The A12 device he's got was a gift from his friends at Pacix, who said, quote, because of all the work Coolstar has done for the jailbreak community, we were more than happy to donate him an A12 device to further his development work. Our donation in no way guarantees an A12 jailbreak from him and doesn't require it. Thank you again, Coolstar. So even though he's got an A12 device for free, he has got it from his friends at Pacix repository and they did not require him to release anything publicly so yeah, that's how he gets away with it. But yeah, people did donate a lot of money in other ways and of course he got an iPhone 10, he got an iPad and many many other donations from people to support the Chimera and the Electra and so on, especially when they announced the first jailbreak for the A12 for the 12.1.2 uh, and lower. But yeah, I'm not here to judge him or to tell what he did with the money. I don't care. It's not my point. The point is that he's not releasing an A12 jailbreak, so do not wait for it. However, Pawn has you covered in here. As you can see, it's done already and we're looking at only a couple of days. 
I will, however, keep you updated on the channel when that happens. Thank you for watching. I really hope this clears up everything since it's a little bit of a mess in the community right now, especially after Coolstar's statements today. But yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Subscribe to stay updated and peace out.